Uh, this is Mr. Burley from uh, St. Elizabeth Catholic School in Thornhill. Um, today I'm going to show you uh, a couple lessons on Easy C uh, with the Cortex controller and how specifically to run the ultrasonic sensor. So I've already got one done, so I'm going to go File, Open Project, and I'm going to come in here under, this one here is a good one, um, ultrasonic sensor. What I have did on this particular one is I set my robot with the ultrasonic sensor on the front of it and I put it between two walls that were about six feet apart and then I, I went ahead and I, I programmed it such that the robot would go forward until it seen one wall it would rotate 180 degrees go backwards until it seen the other wall rotate 180 degrees and basically it would just be locked in that pattern going back and forth until it ran out of its autonomous routine timing which in this case was 15 seconds I'm going to change the autonomous time now to something a little longer more like 30 seconds and I'm going to say OK and you, I could have put a comment in there, but I'm not. Now, the autonomous routine, again, is going to run for 30 seconds. And you can see in here, I've got the ultrasonic sensor in there. And I've got an if and else statement. So let's start at the top. Um, the ultrasonic sensor, I have hooked up. Uh, now, this very first one here, this section right here, just simply uh, before the while statement, gets the ultrasonic sensor started. So you start it. Uh, I put it at interrupt port 3 and output 11, port 11. Um, the way this works is um, the interrupt ports uh, are selectable. So there's there's some different. Uh, there's one so one that can't be used. I forget at this moment in time which one it is. But interrupt port three works fine, and out, output port uh, eleven will work fine as well. Um, again, this is uh, the interrupt is software controllable. So I could change that right now to anything else. Okay. So that gets the, that gets the, the sensor started. The while loop is while at one, which is what one means it's true. While true, let's run this routine. So while true, let's go into the ultrasonic sensor, and now we're going to get the ultrasonic sensor. We again, it's at interrupt port three, output eleven, and we're retrieving the data or the value back to ultrasonic. And I missed that. Let's go back. I'll show you under variables. I have here unsigned integer integer under the first one and ultrasonic and I I typed ultrasonic in this part here is selectable unsigned inter integer so that's the where the value is going to go back and record it to so now let's go in here and we'll say okay let's get the get the information from the ultrasonic sensor so it's got it got started back here then the robot program starts running the ultrasonic sensor starts to 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 send what is a discrete bit meaning the ultrasonic sensor calculates it within itself and sends a discrete bit back to the program to to analyze or interpret either a one or a zero um, so here I have print to screen. I just put that. I don't have an actual print screen. Um, I don't have an LCD hooked up. But should if I did have an LCD screen hooked up, I would in fact be able to see the distance calculated right on the screen. So the if statement says, let's drive the machine forward. And I've made a subroutine or a user function they call them, but it's essentially it's a subroutine. Um, and I can show you quickly what that subroutine is. If you go into the forward switch, you'll see this is the subroutine. It says, okay, drive both motors forward uh, for indefinitely. So I'll go back to the autonomous. I've got the subroutine in there. It says, while well true, let's run this statement. And this is the selectable. I click on if statement. And this is the variable. I put an ultrasonic sensor. So I go into the ultrasonic. And then I go into the the user or the ad operators and I said okay if the ultrasonic sensor is greater than 12 run it so it's any it's gonna keep moving forward doing this subroutine as long as it's above 12 and this is selectable I can I can go in I can change that to any value I like um, I can also put in here uh, as under a comment distance just uh, to simplify a thing, it, it works better. The more that you denote or annotate your 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 program, the better off. Because if somebody else has to interpret it, it, it helps them troubleshooting it much much quicker. So in this situation, we've got ultrasonic sensor. As long as it's a, it's a greater than twelve, it will run this. As soon as it sees something that's less than less than twelve, which it will go as it goes forward, it runs the else statement. And in the else statement, I've got again a subroutine of stop, wait one second. Go backwards, wait one second, and turn left, and wait one second. So this particular thing actually is going to stop the robot. It's going to for one full second to let all the energy drain out of it. Then it's going to back up for one second, and it's going to turn left for one second. Um, 
actually this isn't the program I thought I had originally showed you but I had originally pulled up to, to talk about but this one works just fine I could get the robot to do anything I wanted in this else statement I could just get it, the robot to stop I could get it just to go backwards until it hit the bumper switch and then I could put another if statement but that's how this particular one works so that's the ultrasonic sensor it's pretty pretty easy um, as long as you have it hooked up into the right ports um, everything will work just fine